All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. Yahweh. All right. He to be, or He exists. All right. That's the Most High's name. Bahashem in the name. All right. Bahashem in the name. All right. Yahweh. Yahweh. Deliverer or Savior. All right, he delivered. All right, Bahasham in the name Racha Kodash, the Holy Spirit. All right, so all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS, peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And um, I was listening to a brother, the, he used to be in the camp down here, but he, he moved up to Cali. Uh, and he was uh, just doing like a, a rebuttal to Elder Yashawamba's dream about the, um, Jacob's trouble. Okay. And uh, the brother had went into, um, you know, he had spoke about how these women, you know, they're going to catch pure hell. All right, here, here, real, real soon. There's a lot of them that are catching hell now, but when the time of Jacob's trouble comes, it's gonna only, it's gonna increase, big time, okay? And um, it's true that the scriptures, what the scripture says, man, that women, they just want to be, they just want to live in pleasure, man. All right, women just want to have it. They, let me quote. Me and a brother was talking about. Mm, maybe about a week ago yeah because it's already friday now yeah and uh we were talking about females and uh bro all you got to do is just tell these women this is the brother was telling me he's like man you just got to tell these women let's go have fun and it's on you know because that's all they want to do it, it always got to be a good time it's always got to be fun Everything is fun. They always got to be smiling. It's always, you know, things are always on the up. It's always a cheerful time. Well, that ain't balanced, number one. And number two, things ain't always like that, okay? They're going to be bad times. You know, these women, they go stand in front of this so-called preacher and all this crap and take these so-called <laughs> vows when they get married. And then those vows, they all say the same thing. This is, you know, it's just scripted. Uh, do you take him for better or for worse through sickness and in health? And y'all don't uphold that, man. You these women they don't even uphold that, man. That's why, because you gotta wonder why the divorce rate is through the roof, like eighty something percent. Because y'all don't want to deal when it is worse or in sickness, okay? Because you always want to have fun. You always want it to be a good time, you know, and I thought about that movie. We was on the block speaking the movie, the, the Nutty Professor, which, by the way, stars Jada Pinkett Smith with whatever last name she want to take. OK, you got to watch them women that don't want to take your name, man. OK, which we not even in the time, man, the way you want to even get. Why would you even want to get married? Why? What man in his right mind would go? And sign a contract between you, that woman, and the state. And the state and that woman is on the same team. You're on the losing team. Okay? But we was quoting this here from that movie, The Nutty Professor, Women Be Shopping. When Dave Chappelle got up there and he was like, you know, women be shopping. You cannot, you can't stop a woman from shopping. Women be shopping. They're buying all kind of stuff. They don't even need. I've been to women's homes. They got stuff in their closets, man, with tags. Stuff they ain't never even wore. Stuff they might have wore once. Piled on top of pile and just clothes, clothes, clothes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. For what? You know? For what? Just... Living a vain existence, man. Everything has got to be fun and happiness. When life ain't even like that. Okay? 
But I got some scriptures because I want to go into uh, the book of Job, the second chapter. Okay? Because before Job was plagued by Satan, okay, because the Most High let him do what he will, everything except uh, takes take Job's life, you know, because Satan had to get permission, all right, believe it or not, you know, something they don't teach in the so-called church, Satan don't do what he want, he had to get permission, okay, and he was told that he could do what he want but save his life, okay, so I want to just kind of go through this account real quick and then get another scripture and probably end. But you women are about to catch pure, unadulterated hell, man. Okay? Pure, unadulterated hell. And all the fun and the mirth and, 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 and the, you know, just the showing your naked behind all over the internet, showing all your cleavage out in public, all that's about to come to a screeching halt, man. Okay? It's going to be a beautiful time. Although it's going to be all hell breaking loose, you, like the brother had said in the video, I can't wait to see the expression on y'all's faces, man. When you can't go get your, your, uh, your, your hair done, when you can't get them long, stupid looking nails and them long, stupid looking eyelashes on your face, man, because you got to go get refills for both. And this woman I was talking to, she didn't even have a big long ones, but she would get the fake ones. She said when they do it, it take, takes out your other, your natural eyelashes. Why would you want to do that? Because you women are damn vain, man. You live a life of vanity. Hell, what do they call a woman's mirror sitting in her room? A vanity mirror. It's called a vanity mirror with the little stool or the little uh uh bench in front of the mirror you can flip it around one side is make you look bigger than the other side you know with the little drawer with the brushes and the combs and stuff in there it's a vanity mirror man okay made just for y'all even in the car it's a vanity mirror okay look the word vain up okay but without further ado OK, let's get into this. This is Job two and one. Again, there was a day when the sons of the heavenly father came to present themselves before the Lord, Yahweh, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord, Yahweh. And the Lord said unto Satan, from whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared the Most High and eschewed evil, and still he holdeth fast his integrity. You see? Let's get that word. Let's get the word integrity. Let's go to etymon online etymology. Let's get the word integrity. Innocence, blameless. Chastity, purity, you see, wholeness, soundness, completeness. He didn't break down, man, and he stayed blameless. He stayed whole, okay? See that? He stayed in perfect condition, meaning in his mind, his body was being played, you see? But he kept his mind about him. He didn't give up his faith, you see? These women... Hell, that's <laughs> female. They they females, man. They ain't got no they 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 faith. What's what are you talking about? Uh hmm. Never even thought about that. But I'm not gonna go all into that. Let's do this. Let's go back. So Joe, he uh he would remain to keep his integrity. Okay. Uh, I'm in verse three, almost to the end. It says, and assureth evil and still hold it fast his integrity. Although thou movest me against him to destroy him without cause. 
And Satan answered the Lord Yahweh and said, skin for skin, yea, all that a man had will he give for his life. Okay. But put forth thine hand now and touch his bone and his flesh and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. See, the Most High gave him instruction. Do what you want. But you can't put him to death. Verse 7. So went Satan forth from the presence of the Lord Yahweh and smote Job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown, meaning his head, the top of his head. All right. And he took him and, and pot shirt and scraped himself with all. A pot shirt is like a, a, a broken piece of a, like a, a ceramic pot. You would break it and, and, and it would have like a sharp piece. And he was just using it to scrape yourself, man. Can you freaking imagine? It says, and he took him in a pot shirt. He took him a pot shirt and scraped himself with all. And he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse the most high and die. You see? But it was all good when we was up. Remember that for better or for worse? Now it's worse. She ready to haul ass. She telling, telling Job, curse, curse the most high and drop dead. You see? That's the mind state of these women out here in Babylon the Great, man. Okay, they ain't got no faith. They ain't got no integrity. That's why it's going to be a, a hard day on that ass when all hell break loose, man. We already got like a little, yeah, a little sniff of it, a little snippet of it. The brother had gave a testimony when that freeze had came through down here in Texas. Um, Let me do this, too, so we don't have no interruptions. He say, uh... It was some Issacharite woman out and they pipes that bus. And I believe they just didn't even know how to turn the valve off, man. And they were, oh, can you help us? Blah, 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 blah. If you see them same women today, if that brother was to see them same women today, now eight times out of 10, I guarantee you, they wouldn't even speak to that brother, man. And on a regular day, without all of that, walk past them. You could be walking past them. And speak and, hey, how y'all lovely women doing? Blah, blah, blah. They'll turn their nose up at you, man. Okay? But all that's getting ready to change. The scriptures say seven women shall take hold of one man. And we about to see just how precious an Israelite man is in these days, man. Okay? We about to see firsthand, live and in color. Okay? But let me read this again. Job 2 and 9. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Are you still whole in your mind? It's, she said, Because showing she ain't. It say, Curse the most high and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaking. And I'm sure it wasn't as subtle as I sound. Because I can only imagine myself and my woman telling me some shit like that. I'm going to get, like Jake said, I'm going to get crunk. Or I'm going to get lit. I'm, whatever they saying now, I don't know. You know. It says, what? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High? And shall we not receive evil? Yeah, you're going to receive both. The Most High is a just power. Balance. Okay. So until we out of here, we're going to get both sides, man. That's from that tree. Okay. All going back. Back to Eve. Through her we all die. You see. These, these women. They ain't got no faith man. But they gonna get. They gonna try to get their mind right. Some of them are gonna get their mind right. When all hell break loose. Okay. It's say. Uh. 
Job 2 and 10. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High and shall not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips. You see there? He kept his integrity, man. He kept it together. But see, these women, man, and I'm going to get a scripture. And this is uh, First Timothy. I'm going to bring that up. All right. These women, they just want to live in pleasure, man. Whatever make them happy, whatever keep a smile on their face. You know, the new shoes, the new whatever, the new purse, the new bag. OK, the new guy. Or the new guys, plural, or the new women. They like being licked. No, I don't want to get too graphic. It's the, it's the Sabbath, man. But they want many arrows, man. The scriptures say she'll open her quiver to every arrow. Whatever make her feel good. However she get her pleasure, man. Okay? That's why a lot of these women is obese. Cause they can't discipline themselves to back up off the off the fork and put it down. They can't stop eating crap because they ain't disciplined. It, it tastes good. Mm, I just gotta have it. Mm, mm. And then wonder why their health is in, 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 is at risk. You see? Um, let me finish this. Let's go to 1 Timothy 5. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, 1 Timothy 5 and 1, Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father, and the younger men as brethren, the elder women as mothers, the younger as sisters, with all purity. Honor widows that are widows indeed. But if any widow have children or nephews, let them learn first to show piety at home and to requite their parents. For that is good and acceptable before the Heavenly Father. Now, she that is a widow indeed and desolate, trusted in the Most High, and continueth in supplications and prayers night and day. But she that liveth in pleasure, which that's the majority of these women, man. And just dealing with our women, they, it's all about... Fun, fun, fun. The weekend got a song called House of Balloons. And he said, this house is fun. And he just said over and over and over and over. Because he know it. Fun, 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 fun. I don't know how many times he say fun in that song, man. House of Balloons. On that trilogy album. He say, this house is fun. That's what get women. Hey, let's go have some fun. Hey, let's, Yeah. If you got a dating app and you just taking pictures and you're serious and it's only like you got to show where you went, show yourself drinking, having a party where they got the, the sparklers coming out of the champagne bottle. You got to be out on trips, on cruises, on boats, and you got to be having fun if you think you're going to get a woman's attention. Fun. We're not in the time of fun. The scriptures speak about a time and a season to everything. Matter of fact, I'll get that next, but I want to finish this scripture. First Timothy 5 and 6. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, man. You see? They're done. Let's get that scripture. Yes, yeah, that's, that's them dead bodies, man. Okay, and their dead bodies shall lie in the great in the street of the great city, man. Spiritually dead. Uh, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Let's see, can I find it? I think it's in the third chapter. Yes, Ecclesiastes three and one. To everything there is a season. And they time to every purpose under the heaven. Okay. Then it goes through. Okay. 
Verse, I'm going to give verse four, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. We ain't in the time of laughing. And this is some serious times that we're in. Okay. Let me see. Verse eight say a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Guess what we in? We in a time of war and this is a time of hate. Okay. Till shallow come. All right. We definitely ain't in the time of fun, 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 fun. The most high is taking that, that folly out of the earth, man. Even though it's set in great dignity and these women flock into it. Okay. All that's about to be wiped out and all hell is getting ready to break loose. And these women that live it in pleasure that are dead already, they going to really get it, man. Okay. And again, there's a time and a season to everything, man. We ain't in that time. Okay. We in a serious time, a time to be in a serious mindset. Because this thing could go down at any time. Okay. They can come with that mark at any time because the system's set up ready to go, man. You go, it was something, a uh, uh, commercial I was watching on YouTube because, you know, you got to watch the commercials for whatever you're about to look at. Come on. And it was a uh, commercial advertising these people going getting diagnosed with health, health issues. And what did they do? They stuck their hand inside of this machine and it gave them a reading. They didn't have the, the karagma in there, but it's just conditioning. You see, I was in a drive through line. A guy paid for his food with his phone. You know, I, I saw it. Even if you're using the card, it's all conditioning. It's all electronic set up, ready to go. And the guy that came and took his 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 uh money or his transaction. He had like a computer screen and he held it up the back of the computer like a, 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 a the damn thing's called a tablet. And he it was like he scanned the guy's phone with the back of the tablet, looked at it, punched up in, walked back on in. Here pretty soon. It's going to be that Karakma, man. OK. It's going to be that karagma. All right. So it's all conditioning. OK. So this these things that we're seeing and filtering them through the scriptures as the scripture says, measure thou the time diligently in itself. OK. We're seeing these things. We see the setup, man, because the most high has given us eyes to see. OK, spiritual eyes. It's nothing we're doing on our own, but the most high, is, he's he's enabled us to see these things, okay? And and the Wadi Yaw Bashim Yawashai, Bashim Rakakwadash, man. Not everybody can see it, you know? So we, we, we're in some serious time. This ain't the time of fun, fun, fun. Folly, folly, folly. You see? <sighs> so lock you. So with that, man, I'm going to end... And again, man, these women, they just want to live in, in and have a good time all the time. They'll neglect their responsibilities just to have fun. Just to be, live a vain existence. I know I don't need that purse, but because, you know, I need to get some food for the house. But man, that purse is so nice. Then you got the purse. Ain't nothing in the purse. You get home, ain't nothing in the fridge. A lot of you got children. I watch because I live next to this uh, Judite, young Judites, some young Judite women. And I know they live in their own housing. You know, whereas I'm paying full rent. You see, they live in on housing and the state is just holding them up. You know. Hey, because they they getting that help. You see, and I watched girls coming in from the club dressed in little skimpy stuff 
either come and pick up their baby or come and drop her baby off. They all take turns watching each other's babies while they go and have fun. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. And who knows what the hell they going doing. Okay? This is Babylon the Great, man. And I, I've seen some wild things that you just wouldn't believe before I came in this troop. This is in the 90s. Okay, so I can't even imagine what kind of stuff is going down now. All right. This is spiritually Sodom and, and Gomorrah, man. Okay. So she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, man. All right. Lord willing, this was edifying. And if any sister is listening to this, man, and kind of trying to figure it out, you better get it right if it's meant for you. Okay, because this is the time, man. All right, so with that, I'm going to close and I'm going to say Shalom.